Hi, I'm Chris Ruff, Director of the Office of Ministries and Social Concerns for the Diocese of La Crosse. And I'm here with Jennifer Fisk, who is the uh, lead pro-life uh, coordinator for the diocese, as well as a parish pro-life coordinator for uh, St. Elizabeth's Parish in Holman, and also a homeschooling mom. And uh, Jennifer's gonna talk a little bit about our parish pro-life network. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that, Jennifer? Okay, um, we actually have two um, portions to the Parish Pro-Life Network. Um, the first is the Parish Pro-Life Coordinators, and these are people who have been appointed or asked to fill this position by their pastor, or they may have volunteered having heard about it. And what they do is on a parish-wide level, um, increase the respect for the dignity of human life through parish activities, um, possibly through bulletin boards, um, different programs that they may implement with their pastors, um, support to get the people in the parish more involved on a local level uh, with what is going on in the pro-life community. Oh, wonderful. And now uh, you're in contact with them then through email, I presume? Yes. For the most part? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. And then we have a, a larger kind of pro-life network as well. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. This is for anybody within the diocese who is interested in uh, promoting the dignity of human life within their parishes or um, within their communities and we send out action alerts which may uh, be things that have to do with upcoming legislation that uh, deals with life or it may be um, pro-life activities that are going on throughout the diocese or um, workshops that may be available any pro-life activity that is mm -hmm. going on that we want to make people aware of sure and prayer um, intentions I think prayer as well, intentions huh? yep and what we're trying to do is connect people with each other and um, make the resources that are available um, more widely available and more widely known. Okay. And we've had prayer intentions that have come through for specific individuals. We've had people who've o offered to open up their homes to take in girls who may be in crisis pregnancy. We've been able to connect women with crisis pregnancy centers in their areas and with other people who may be able to help them. And it seems to me we've had some actual very concrete examples, right, of, of, of maybe a young lady who's, who's in a crisis and, and, and you talk about it through the network and people are saying, we'll take her into our home. Yep. Or, or someone's on the verge of possibly aborting and, and all of a sudden the network's alerted and somebody says, well, we would adopt that child. So people have a real sense of, of being able to, to participate in a, in a deep way in this mission, right, through this yes. network. Yes. Wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing about that. And all of this kind of information uh, and more is available on the diocesan website at www.dioceselacrosse.com. Just for the link, look for the link on pro-life information and resources.